Hey folks, today I'm going to be using my Deep Space Telescope that has taken images like this to take a photo of the Jellyfish Nebula. But before I do that, I need to wait for the clouds to clear, which could be days or weeks. While we wait for the clear skies to come, this is the Jellyfish Nebula. The Jellyfish Nebula is a celestial masterpiece in the vastness of space. Its vibrant hues create a stunning canvas that presents both challenges and rewards for astrophotographers. The Jellyfish Nebula is about 5,000 light years away and it lies in the constellation Gemini. Before we dive into taking photos of the Jellyfish Nebula, let's talk gear. Astrophotography requires a lot of specialized equipment, such as a telescope, a camera that can take long exposures, and a tracking mount. Using a narrowband filter can enhance the contrast of the nebula against the background sky. For this image, we are going to be taking 30 second exposures at ISO 3200. It has been two weeks since I said that. Yeah, two weeks. The last two weeks have been relatively productive, however. I figured out how to put my reflector on my tracking mount and I fit my larger guide scope on the reflector. Here is the old guide scope that came with the uh, reflector that I have. It went right on here on these bar things, but this guide scope sucks. I mean, I will be blunt with you, this guide scope really sucks. The optics are just made of straight plastic and it has a lot of blue chromatic aberration. This one, however, is made of metal and actual glass. Now, it took a lot of hot glue and tape to put this guide scope on, but it works really well. To recap on the settings that we will be shooting at, we will be taking 30 second exposures at ISO 3200. The filter that we are gonna be using is a UHC filter. It just enhances the contrast of the nebula against the background sky. So it is finally imaging night, but I don't necessarily want to be imaging on a Monday night. Usually during the weekdays, I do go to bed a little bit early because I have school. But hopefully over the three days that are clear out of the seven days of this week, I will be able to get three hours of exposure time. Now each night I should be able to get at least an hour of exposure time or I head in and go to bed. I recently explained all of the settings that we will be using such as 30 second exposures at ISO 3200. I have everything perfect. Um, I'm just gonna wait for the sun to set and we should get to shooting right away. Now, I also forgot to mention that the moon is in its crescent phase, but that really shouldn't affect my photos. All right, so somewhere in these stars is the Jellyfish Nebula. Um, I will find it with my Starfinder app, but to uh, basically start shooting, I have to polar align with the North Star, which is that one right there. So I'm imaging now. Um, polar alignment and focusing went great. Um, no problems there. Um, I'm taking my test exposures to see if I got the correct polar alignment and uh, hopefully I don't see any star trails. Everything was very easy to find. Propus, which is the star that the Jellyfish Nebula is near, um, is relatively bright in my night sky and I was able to locate it first try. Oh, look, there's space junk right there on the middle of the screen. I'm not moving the screen right now. It's uh, just flying through the night sky. I have no idea what that is. Yeah, just look at my telescope. Doesn't it look so magnificent? All right, look how awesome these stars are. They are perfectly round. And if you look in the center of the screen right here, that does look like the top of the Jellyfish Nebula to me. So hopefully, the three hours that I get on this target will be enough.
Okay, so it is another beautiful night out. It is nice and cool. It's not hot, not too cold. It is the perfect astrophotography weather. Now, I just had my scope pointed at the moon, and the atmosphere is actually really, really calm today, meaning I will get absolutely amazing photos tonight. My photos just got done stacking, and they look great. So tonight, I'm gonna point at that same spot, hopefully get the same sort of alignment, and then take photos. I only took 45 minutes of exposure due to the clouds. Now, obviously, I don't want to make this video four hours long, so I'm going to skip filming for the last day, but I promise you, I did go out and take photos. This video took me three days to take photos and multiple days to edit. So please, if you really enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Until next time, clear skies. Seriously guys, thank you all so much for over 400 subscribers. Your support really means the world to me. And for a celebration of over 400 subscribers, I'm going to give you this image. Until next time, clear skies.